Today I have the pleasure and the privilege of interviewing Executive Vice President and CFO, uh, Mr. Andre Godden. How are you today, Andre? I'm good, thank you. Normally we don't uh, interview the CFO, but you're also the Executive Vice President. Can you tell us a little bit about your role at Intel Genix Technologies? I work very closely with Dr. Zerbe. I have uh, great respect for, uh, for him and um, also for, for the rest of the team. Of course, we're really excited to talk to you about your recent deal with Tadalafil. Can you tell us more about this? Uh, this deal is probably the best, uh, the best deal that we ever signed at Intel Genix, and uh, and it will probably uh, start generating revenue by mid year 2018. For all of those out there who are new to Intel Genix, they have a very interesting business model. Andre, can you tell us a little bit more about this business model? Yeah, our business model consists of five sources of revenue. We basically uh, get upfront payment, R&D milestones, sales milestones, royalty or uh, profit split uh, with our partner, and finally, manufacturing revenue. Uh, we get manufacturing revenue when we uh, are at the commercial uh, phase of the, the project. So based on your business model, can you tell us how that translates to revenue and what we might anticipate for 2017? Yes, uh, 2017, most of our revenue will be coming from R&D revenue. This is the great thing about signing um, multiple partner, Chemo being one of them. Uh, depending on where the project is at the moment of the signing, we will get, you know, more or less R&D revenue. In this case, we'll get more uh, more than less R&D revenue in 2017 um, because the projects are just starting. One of our Investor Intel members sent me a question asking me why you guys are manufacturing your oral films and why you're not outsourcing this. Can you explain this to us? Yeah, I mean, very simple answer. We get the margin uh, in-house, you know, as opposed to giving the, the margin away to uh, contract manufacturing. So that's the main reason. Also, um, what's very important to us is to keep our know-how, keep our trade secrets in-house. So by having our own plant and manufacturing the product, then we keep uh, all our uh, intellectual property in-house. How many people do you employ? And can you tell us a little bit more about your manufacturing facility? We employ uh, about close to 30 people uh, in total. Most people are in uh, R&D because this is our main expertise. Um, and the manufacturing, in regards to the manufacturing facility, it is in the process of uh, GMP approval and um, certification by, by Elk Canada so, uh, so that we can start manufacturing um, you know, commercial goods uh, by uh, late 2017. Well, Andre, is there anything else you'd like to add about uh, why we should get excited about Intel Genix? I mean, obviously, you've been with Intel Genix. Uh, can you give us uh, any additional data? I think that uh, I fully uh, agree with you when, when you mentioned that we're undervalued. I think it's a very good entry point right now. There's a lot of things happening, a lot of exciting things. We've been doing a lot of partnership and uh, more to come. And with that recent, uh, you know, the Dallafield license, we feel that, uh, you know, for any new investor, it's really the right time to come in because I see this company going and growing uh, you know, uh, quite a bit in the, in the next, uh, in the near future. Well, you said it best, Andre, and thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much.